Here, I need to teach you how to use chopsticks so then you're not... Oh. <laughs> It's me, Maddox. What are we doing today? I'm eating food and I do not know what we're eating. Because <gasps> my mom did not tell me. I'm going to let the food talk for itself. Close your eyes. <laughs> Fortune cookie. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know how to read. Today you will try Chinese food from around the world. I love Chinese! So it's Chinese food, not from China? Like other countries' version of Chinese food? Yes. Fortune cookies, are they from China? Yes. Fortune cookies are from China. Wrong. Do they have fortune cookies in China? No, they don't actually. If uh, these aren't uh, Chinese, then how come I always get one after I eat Chinese food? Because it's an American thing. I don't really um, re recognize this. I'm half Chinese too, so it's... Is there meat inside this? Did you go vegetarian on this? What? Is this egg roll? And egg roll's like lots of food inside, and it's crunchy on the outside. It's good. It's hard to see if it tastes Chinese or not. Here, I'm trying to write. It's like egg roll. This is called lupia. Lupia. This is my lupia. Get away from my lupia. And what country does lupia come from? Philippines. So it's believed to have derived from spring rolls? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Mom, we have this for, my, for dinner for my birthday. Philippines gets most of the credit. China, part of the credit. Oh, wow. You guys ate the whole thing. Yep. Well, I didn't have anywhere to put it. That's why. <laughs> I mean, it's it's chicken, so yay. <laughs> Be honest with you, that's good. It's really good, except super spicy. <laughs> this is a popular Indian style Chinese dish. Indian style, okay. Fries. You rarely see french fries in China. I don't think rice and french fries go together. I think they do. I've never had rice with french fries, but it's good. It tastes like McDonald's tried to mix teriyaki with it. And the french fries make me think American. It's not American. It's from Peru. China? Peru, China? Peru? It's doing it very good at it. I would have never thought this would taste good, but Peru proved me wrong. Typical. Yeah. Typical what? Definitely Chinese. I mean, got the eggs in there, Chinese love eggs. We got the noodles and yeah, this is very, very Chinese. I know I've had something that tastes like it, I just don't know what. Those are spaghetti noodles. Oh, that's what I've had it like. From Spain? This dish is from New Orleans. In so close. Oh, that soup is bitter. People in New Orleans drink this as a cure for hangovers. Hangovers? Mm -hmm. Do you know what a hangover is? A hangover is like kind of a sleepover, but it's like it's morning. Is this an egg? What is this? This is mango pancake. So this is mango? Mm-hmm. Mango, my favorite. Is this from France? No, why do you think it's from France? I don't know, it looks fancy. There's not really a lot of mangoes in China, so. I mean, it's, it's good. I, I wish it was in China, but I, I just don't really recognize it, to be honest. 
This dish is very popular in Australia. I can see why it's popular. It's really good. It's Chinese Australian. It's Australian food. I have nothing against Australia, except that pretty much everything there tries to kill you. <laughs> I was very messy. Did you know there was so many variations of Chinese food? Nope. Mm, nope. Wait, what? does that mean here is a variation? Yes. So what does real Chinese food taste like then? Gotta go to China to find out. We're going to China!